Hi, Kevin Shoemaker with the Trail Davis Group here for your monthly uh, market report update on the Colorado Front Range. I uh, hope everyone's uh, excited to get into spring as we're uh, going to be springing forward here this weekend and hopefully we spring into some warmer temperatures. It's been a little bit chilly. So when we look at the uh, the sold uh, inventory as well as the actives, you can see over the last 12 months, you can see the consistency on the inventory starting to continue to, uh, to creep up. I um, thought this would be a fun fact. Approximately one third of Americans plan to purchase a home in the next three years, or sorry, in the next five years. And millennial, millennials are actually likely to, 49% uh, of them are planning on that being in their five year plan versus a 35% for Generation X and 17% as far as uh, baby boomers. So I thought it was a, a good fun fact. When we look at the Denver metro area first, as far as the, uh, the, the supply, there's actually 3,409 homes currently on the market, which is actually a little bit more, the supply is actually up a little bit more compared to what it was, uh, what it was last Last year and actually it's up about 37 percent 37.5 percent of the inventory is actually up uh, when we look at the sold actually year to date 4,283 homes that's actually up 1.59 percent as far as solds uh, currently and that's uh, actually up 12.66 percent compared to our numbers last month so Boulder County 677 homes currently uh, on the supply year to date which is not far down compared to what it was last year at this time, which would be 14.72% uh, uh, decrease. We have uh, total homes sold in Boulder uh, year to date, 446 compared to 241 last month. So actually an uptick of 17.556%. Uh, so jumping over to Well County, 845 homes currently on the market in Well County. Um, I'm sorry, cur uh, yeah, currently on the market in Well County, and that is actually up uh, 6.45%. And then we compare to uh, current homes that have sold year to date, 600 and, uh, 673. So again, looking at the uptick, um, we're actually uh, we're pretty close on our numbers there as well. Jumping over to Larimer County, 980 homes currently on the market in Larimer County, um, and the uh, let's see, that is up actually 15.79%. And uh, compared to homes sold, 641 homes, that's actually down 14% from what it was uh, this time last year. And that number is up 18% over what it was in January. So again, just some different cycles in the market. Average days on the market, again, pretty consistent. We'll, we're gonna, I predict that we're going to be pretty consistent on average days on the market, somewhere between two to four weeks um, if you're going to be around that median price range. And when you look at uh, homes that are going to be over the median price range, you'll start to see more like 30 to 60 days. And then when you get in the top end of the market, depending on speculation, we, we're seeing anywhere from three to six months, even 12 months on some of the luxury homes. Uh, Denver metro area, average days on the market, it is 39. Uh, Boulder County is uh, is 71. Actually, Denver uh, is 37 uh, percent, 37 percent higher than what the, what it was last year, as far as average days on the market. Um, Boulder is actually 31 percent as well higher, as far as more days on the market. Well County 72. And again, a lot of this comes from new construction. Uh, the uh, builders are putting the the homes on the market sooner, uh, basically maybe at foundation stage, and then taking a little while to get through construction, even though maybe they've been under contract and then 89 uh, 89 days in uh, Larimer County uh, and that's 15 percent high up 15 percent compared to last year and actually down a little bit from what it was last month so there's strong reason to believe that the housing market is very responsive to interest rates uh, in, a, in the uh, in the past, especially with everything that happened in 2008. So they predict that uh, rates, you know, with rates hitting a seven-year high in November, but then they fell back down in uh, in December. So depending on what the interest rates do, they feel that we'll be able to rebound and have a really solid market going into into spring and summer. Uh, projected home price appreciation going forward. National numbers, they're predicting somewhere in that 3% three to 4% and then dropping down a little bit in 2020. Here in the Colorado Front Range, again, it really depends on price. So if you're in that medium price range, I believe we're going to have somewhere between 7 to 10% of appreciation. When you get higher up and you get into more of, again, the towards that luxury home market, you're going to be more of maybe like uh, 5 to 7%, maybe 3, but probably 5 to 7%. So a good average a conservative number is probably in that 7% range. 
49% of renters believe you need 20% down to buy a home. We run into it all the time. I was just on a, on a conversation with a young lady. She was a school, te school teacher, actually, in Loveland um, yesterday. <clears throat> and they were saving and saving and saving, trying to get their down payment. And they didn't realize that there's actually programs out there, actually for public servants, where you can get in for as little as $1,000 out of your pocket. Now, it's still a fix for 30 years. It's a solid, a solid mortgage. But it allows those people to get in, um, especially first-time home buyers, allows them to get in. That bar of entry is a little easier for them. 20% um, is the number where you don't have to pay mortgage insurance. Uh, so you can get in for 20% uh, uh, FHA, 3.5%. 3, 3 so a lot of low pro low loan programs out there that do make it easier for first-time home buyers or even people that are move-up buyers to get into a home. 24% of renters believe you need a 780 to 800 uh, credit score to be considered for a mortgage. Generally speaking, the number 620 is what they, they're looking for. FICO uh, score distribution. This just breaks down um, the, uh, the the average FICO score uh, for the consumers, um, which obviously the 750 to 799. That's obviously a great a great number to see uh, versus the alternative of uh, where we were leaning towards more in 2008 when everyone was having credit issues. So um, key factors moving forward, again, everything really goes into supply and demand. Uh, we anticipate that the market is going to, we've been appreciating fairly strong. We anticipate it's going to start flattening out a little bit. Again, 5 to 7% appreciation. We're going to start seeing that the inventory is going to start to, average days on the market are going to start getting a little bit longer, especially as you get higher up in the price range. Um, but there's uh, there's still going to be plenty of opportunities. So if you're a person that has, that has been in their home, maybe 5, 7, 10, 15 years, whatever it may be, and it was your first home or something that's on the smaller side, you're still able to maximize the, the appreciation in your home that make that next jump to the move up where maybe the market's going to be a little bit softer and there could be an opportunity for you. So again, we still see that it's going to be a, a good strong market, not quite as fast and frenzy as it was the last the last two years. Um, but uh, interest rates, we uh, again predicting that we're going to be somewhere, you know, pushing in that, uh, that 5% range. Actually, um, we are about 4.75 consistently the last month. So we do env envision that uh, we'll be hitting five to maybe five and a quarter, five and a half by the end of the year. So as always, if there's uh, you know questions you have on that, we're always happy to get you one with one of our preferred lenders and they can advise you as far as um, whether it be purchasing, refinancing, whatever your, your needs are. My best guess, uh, based on Ralph uh, with uh, CoreLogic, uh, is the housing market will really comes into, into a soft landing. They're predicting that it depends on whether buyers and sellers start to panic as the market continues to slow, especially given the, the fresh, fresh memories of 2008 crash. Um, a lot, people are very, uh, very interest rate sensitive. And again, national statistics, I believe we're a little bit buffered here in the Colorado Front Range, um, but it all, it all it's all about job growth. We've had a lot of, of positive job growth. I believe we'll continue to have that um, unless some big political thing comes through or and that we don't foresee. So um, as always, we're always here to help you out. We really appreciate all of your business. We appreciate the referrals, all of our uh, all of our loyal clients. And uh, if you ever need uh, need any advice as far as uh, what, what timing looks like for you, uh, what uh, what opportunities are out there in the market, what things can you do to your home to maximize um, the appreciation. Maybe you're not looking to do anything for a year or two, but you want to maybe start making some improvements to enhance the value uh, down the road when you do decide to sell, just give us a call. We're happy to help. So again, Kevin Shoemaker with the Trail Davis Group. You can reach us at uh, traildavisgroup.com or 720-230-3030. Have a great week.